Recently, Brandon James Greer released an excellent overview video of Blockbench. For those of you that don't know, Blockbench is a piece of 3D modeling software that is particularly geared towards making low poly models. Blockbench is a great piece of software, so I would definitely recommend watching his video if you're interested in low poly modeling. While his tutorial is great, in his video, he creates these cartoon style textures by painting directly onto the model in Blockbench. This works really well for this cartoon style, but I just wanted to show you that it's also possible to do traditional UV mapping and texturing in Blockbench, as in my view, this is still the most effective process for texturing PS1 style models. Here, I have recreated the oil can model from one of my recent Blender tutorial videos. Firstly, let's import our texture. Click the plus icon here, and then select your texture. Now, as you can see, I am in face selection mode, and when I select a face, the UV appears in the window here. Blockbench has an automatic UV mapping tool, so let's switch to cluster select, select the model, and then click the A icon here in order to create the UVs. Now you can see that the UVs better represent the shape of the faces on the model. In order to apply the texture to the faces, you need to drag it from the textures window to the UV window. Then click on the UV to apply it. If needs be, we can manually adjust the UVs in order to get the desired level of pixelation and to make any other adjustments. To do this, select the face that you want to adjust, then double click the UV. You will see that the vertices turn from blue to white, meaning that we can now individually move them. You can also resize and scale the whole UV by dragging this icon in the bottom right corner. That's all for now. Again, if you haven't seen Brandon's video, I would highly recommend it as it goes into much more detail on 3D modeling with Blockbench. So if you're looking for a simpler alternative to Blender to make low poly models, this is a great place to start. If you're interested in seeing more Blockbench videos from me, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.